Hey again, guys. So I have a dinner to go to tonight. And do you know what I like to do before I go to dinner? I like to look at some baseball cards. Man, I have uh, a few nice things to show you. Uh, we're going to start off with this Philadelphia Carmel of uh, Art Devlin. And it's just a beautiful little piece of art. Beautiful card. You know I love the e-cards. I show you a lot of them. Here we have a 1975 Topps Mini Rusty Staub. Great looking card. We have a top 70. Had to get this one. Josh Gibson. That's a beauty. Added two more to my 1958 Hires root beer set. We have uh, Don, um, Dick Grote with the tab. And Don Newcomb with the tab. Got a 1958 Roy McMillan. Nineteen seventy six tops traded Ken Brett when he left my Pirates and went to the Yankees. We have a Sports Illustrated for Kids, Danielle Kang. And I got this Sotani. We got a bunch of these, but he makes a lot of tops now cards. Just having a killer year. And I showed you guys some signed Pirates photo kind of thingies. I got some more. Uh, the Candyman, John Candelaria. Really good picture for the Pirates. And here we have Doc Ellis. Bob Robertson. I actually hung out with him once. He was a, a doing some sales after uh, his career. And I had a meeting with him once. Big guy. Danny Murtaugh. Good manager for the Pirates. Kind of died suddenly, I guess. And that's when they brought in Chuck Tanner. Before winning the 79 World Series. Nellie Bryles. I was actually on a committee with him. And he sold me my Pirates tickets. Got me a great deal. Great seats too. My father would always use him as an example for me. When I was growing up playing ball. Because when he would pitch. He would almost fall over. He would fall off the mound. And he just put everything into it. And so my father thought he was a good example for me. Jackie Hernandez, and he was the shortstop on that 71 World Series team. I believe he made the last out. I think he caught a pop-up in that series. Also filled in for Gene Alley that year to become the first all-black Latino lineup in history. And Bob Moose, he died suddenly, obviously suddenly, in a car crash, tragically. Was a pretty good up and coming pitcher, but had a terrible outing in the uh, in the playoffs one year, and unfortunately, um, that's kind of what he was remembered for. And I got this great Sports Illustrated with my man Willie Stargell. And there are nice pictures of Clemente inside. I don't collect a lot of Sports Illustrated, but. I collect some of the ones that I like. I used to uh, have a subscription when I was a little kid. And I would take all the, uh, the covers. And one day I wallpapered my entire room. Wall to wall. With Sports Illustrated covers. And back then I remember it was like uh, Muhammad Ali. And uh, man, just every sport. 
And who remembers the Cheryl Teague swimsuit edition? I had that hanging up on my wall. Although I put that uh, on the back door so you could only see it when I closed the door. So uh, I don't think my mother ever saw it. I had a very messy room when I was growing up and it was just covered with cards everywhere and posters and you name it, boxes of cards everywhere. So my mom didn't come in my room too often. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, that's what I have for you tonight. I'm going to go enjoy a, uh, a meal. Got a Chamber of Commerce dinner. So once again, thanks for watching.